Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're live. Oh, there it is, man. I found it. I found it. I found it. <laughs> this, is, this is technical difficulty right here. <laughs> okay. Here, here. Well, welcome to the show, Facebook. How's everyone doing? I'm here live with Chris Cavatos. How you doing? Chris, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, thanks. Hey, Jason, I just want to you know, give you some praise real quick, man. I am super thankful to be able to sit on this video with you right now. Um, I've seen you for the past 20 weeks produce videos and, and, uh, and you know, really dive into what growth is. So um, I'm really thankful that I'm here. Uh, my name is Chris Cavazos. Uh, I'm a father, I'm a coach, and I'm a loan officer. Uh, I've lived here in Sarasota for about 11 years. I've got some grassroots here, originally from New York. That's just a little bit about me, man. How about we uh, hear a little bit about Jason, man? Well, actually, I, I was born and raised here in Sarasota. So I, Native. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been here for quite some time, and I've actually uh, I've been a realtor here in Sarasota for 20 years as, as well. That's cool. So, that's 20 years, man. That's, that's a long time out here. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, so what are we talking about today? Uh, we're getting into... Oh, the, the, what's growth mean to us? And, and by the way, guys, if you have any questions, just please type it. We have a laptop here so we can, we can, see, we can see some of your questions, and we'll be answering that throughout. So, so Jason, real quick. What what does growth mean to you? Let's get into this. What does it mean to you? I mean, like your maybe it's your personal definition of it. Um, what does growth mean to you? Uh, growth means to me, I guess, just getting outside of my comfort zone. I, I would say I was pretty much in my comfort zone for quite some time, and I thought that was the right thing to do. I want everything to be easy, and now I'm sort of stepping outside of it and doing videos and, and things that are. A little bit more uncomfortable, but as I keep on doing it, those things that become uncomfortable become comfortable, and, and that's what growing means to me. And you know, there's something in there—a really big piece that I want to, you know, kind of take out of that. You said it, it was easy doing things the way you used to do. It was easy, right? Um, let me ask you a question about being easy. Is easy the most rewarding path? No, it's a horrible. Path. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a path to nowhere. It's a path to nowhere, path right? To nowhere. So, so could we say that growth is definitely what difficult, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So being on this growth journey, you, it, it's difficult, isn't it? It's difficult, but I, I have to tell you, I, I enjoy it. Okay. Like, like think, doing doing something like this is enjoyable. I, I was once we once we get set the time, I was pretty excited about it. Right? And, and in the past, how would you feel about a situation like this? And yeah, how would you feel about getting yourself into a situation where you have to be on camera, where you got to talk to, you know, we got tons of other people on Facebook that can have the access to see this and hear our voices and hear our videos. So, you know, what does this mean for you right now? What, how do you feel right now doing this? You feel good, right? Yeah, I feel great. I mean, I, I've tried something like this in the past mm -hmm. and it, it just didn't work out well at all. I guess just doing videos over and over again. I'm, I'm a little bit more comfortable on camera. That's good. And that's, I guess, what you would call growth. That's part of growth, right? Just, yeah. you know, where you are right now is, is the journey that you've kind of, um, you know, started, right? And then yeah. it's just going to continue to progress from here. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about you. What's, what's growth mean to you, Chris? Oh, growth. Um, this, is quite, this, is, this is a word that, you know, obviously we learn it growing up. Um, but really applying it to... To, to business and personal was something that I didn't do for, for a long time. So what growth means to me is kind of what you said. You know, it, it's, it's getting comfortable being uncomfortable. It's being in a, in a circumstance where, you know, you're vulnerable, where it's, you're nervous, where you've got some, like, anxiety. Um, but ultimately, in the spot of un uncomfortableness is where magic happens, right? Yeah. You know, it's where you really discover yourself. It's where you really yeah. discover your, your roots and, and what really means to you and you can dive down into that. So, you know, what does growth mean to me? It means being uncomfortable. It means doing things that I didn't do before and then, um, and then really hold myself accountable to a higher level. That's what growth means to me. Yeah, that's, that's great. And so what, 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 what's your sort of growth plan? What's your... My journey? Yeah, you can. My journey? Where my, my growth journey, yeah. huh? Gosh, my growth journey. So I'm 32 years old, and um, you know I, I could I could I could really sit here and say that some of you watching this are probably stuck in, in a position where you're like, what's next, right? And so I'm sitting here at 32 years old. What's when did my journey begin? Well, it probably began when I was 29, so a few years ago. 
Um, you know, I was working at uh, yeah, that's just a nine to five job, if you will. And I don't really want to call it dead end, but let's call it dead end because it was a dead end for me. You know, it was a dead end for me. I looked at the possibilities of advancement; it wasn't going anywhere. So. I was working at this job and I loved what I did. It was, I loved who I worked with. It was great. Um, but it wasn't enough. And, um, you know, at the time, there was a lot of things going on in my life. You know, I was, you know, working. I had a girlfriend. Um, you know, I had some other things going on. And, and I didn't really have any vision. I didn't have any idea of what was to come next. Um, I was kind of living day by day and uh -huh. letting life happen to me, right? I didn't. You know, of course I wanted to be a millionaire, but you know, of course I wanted to have white picket fences and huge houses, you yeah. know. Um, but you know, my journey really began, I can remember, it was like the winter time about three years ago, and I, I sat there at this job, and I, and, I, and I had this girl, and we had just gone through a breakup, and you know, something that she said to me, she kind of checked me in that moment. And um, it went to the sense of like, what are you doing with your life, kind of a thing, you know. And that really got some cogs spinning, yeah. you know. So um, I knew I wanted more. I knew I was better than where I was at that time. Not to discredit anything, I just knew that I could do better. I knew that there was more potential. I saw more in me than, than I don't know, than I never did before in those moments. So, you know, my journey really began a couple years ago and it, and it, and it began because of the circumstances that I was in. And, and, and I'm thankful for everything that I've been through in life and where I am today. Um, because that journey began and I honestly wouldn't call it a growth journey so like very recently uh -huh. but now that we now that I've been really involved into what growth means I can look back and say it started then so you know this is the journey this is where we're on and, it, and it's constant um, you know it's still going and and you know what about you man what is what what did your, your growth journey really begin well my, my growth journey probably started quite a few years ago mm -hmm. I mean I've always read self-improvement books like Think and Grow Rich. Mm -hmm. And I'll just use that book as an example, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I'm sure a lot of you watching this have read that or at least heard of it. So I, I read that book and I, and I thought it was really great. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And that would start off for a while and then something would come into my way and, and I would stop. Mm -hmm. And what was stopping me is I always kept on thinking, oh, I, I need something else in, in my life to in, in order in order for me to do this, I, I need someone or, or, or something, and that, and that kept on holding me back because I, I kept on well I need this to happen before I can start I need this to happen before I can start, yeah. and so that, that that kept me from from actually actually really ever uh, accomplishing anything. So it was almost like it sounds like to me a self kind of belief. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, that's, that's important. So how long, you said 20 years ago, is that what the number I heard? I started 20 years ago. Yeah, so that's an important thing to talk about right now. You know, it, it doesn't happen overnight. And there comes, uh, what sounds like to you, like there was a, a, a crowning moment or, or a catalyst or something. And I want to talk to you about that in a second. But it doesn't happen overnight. You know, 20 years ago, we got a guy reading, you know, a book about growth and what that means. And it just wasn't falling the right way, right? So... Um, now that we've kind of exposed that, what does what was that catalyst, man? Like, when did you get to a moment over that course of time when you were like, all right, I had enough. Something maybe needs to change, or you know, what's the definition of insanity? I'm doing the same thing over and over again and not getting a different result. So, when did that moment really happen for you? What, and what was it? What happened in that moment? Okay, I'll take you back a little bit from that moment. Yeah. Uh, I, I was I was doing a yoga and I was talking to someone in a, in a yoga class and I came up with this idea that I was going to document my progress on the way to becoming happy. And he said, oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. And I knew it was a good idea, but I, 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 I never did it. I, I didn't want to get that personal, and I just didn't want to, I guess, expose myself. So real quick, way. real quick, vulnerability, vulnerability, right? You didn't want to be vulnerable. He didn't want to be vulnerable, right? You didn't want to be vulnerable. So, but why? Did, were you worried about other people looking in? Were you worried about what would, what people would think? What is that what it is? Yeah, exactly. I was, I was worried about what, what, what other people would think, and I really didn't want to say all this, and I, 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 I didn't I didn't want to do it. And I was worried people might think it's silly, and I, I had all these thoughts in my head, so I didn't do that idea. Yeah. And, I, and so, and, and years years went on, and then what happened is. I guess I, I, I got to a point in my life where uh, I, just, I just didn't have anything to lose. Right. And at that point when I had nothing to lose, then there was no fear of embarrassment or what other people would think about me. 
because it just didn't matter. Right. And that's probably what helped me get started with, with the videos. And my first videos were how to be a successful real estate investor. And I did about 21 or 22 of those before I thought, well, I, I can really improve my video game. <laughs> and, and, Love it. And that's why I came up with uh, this weekly series, which I've done 20 of them so far, which is documenting my progress to have thousands of people watch my videos and speak in front of large audiences. And, and that's really been a game changer for me because to prepare for each video, and also sometimes I write captions on social media, sure. I have to watch a lot of inspirational videos, read books and listen yeah. to stuff. And, and, and sort of teach it. And what I've heard many times is the best way to learn something is, is to teach it. So that's been great for me. Yeah, I would agree with you. I mean, you're, you're living it, right? You're living what you wanted to do and, and you're also giving that away to other people too, right? right, right. You know, if you're, you're sitting here watching someone who, both of us really, who are really getting out of our comfort zone and are trying to reach out and, and show you that, you know, we feel the same things that you feel, right? That, We've had the same roadblocks, and you know, you know, we're on a on a path to success that that anyone can join this highway, right? Yeah. Anyone can be on this road with us. It's not with anyone, you know. I mean, not to say that we're at some super rich people here, you no, know. No, no, no. But you know, success isn't measured only in wealth, right? It, it's an emotion how we feel. And, and how do you feel now that you've been doing these videos? How do you feel now moving like? What is it like to you when you go to make another video? When you go to get that content? What's that like? Well, Chris, before I answer that, I want to touch on something you, you said. Yeah. And yeah, well, we're not, we're not rich, successful millionaires, and that's part of the reason why we're doing that. I know at the end of, every, my, in, in, end of every, one of my videos, I say, if I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. And that's sort of what we're, the point that we're trying to get across, that we're just normal people. Right. And we're kind of just, this is kind of like a, a, a point in our progression that, that we're showing it. So you can see that yeah. just, you can do it too. And, and just to, to, to go back to your question of what has it meant to me, mm -hmm. well, I, I guess it's, it's meant a lot to me because I had this goal of doing videos mm -hmm. and I actually did it. And it's a nice feeling to actually to do accomplish your idea. goal, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, to actually accomplish what you say you're going to do. You say you're going to do something and then you do it. Yeah. And then you can go on the next thing, say you're going to do it and you're going to do it. And, and that's part of what you're talking about in the beginning, growing. That's, that's what it's all about. About, yeah. So, you know, now if you look at another obstacle, you know, in your journey of life, whether that's the next thing you want to tackle, how are you going to view that now that you're doing what you do? Like, how, what is your view on the next step of whatever it is you want to uncover, whatever that next goal is? It's going to be, what is that like to you? You're, you're going to blow it away, I would imagine, right? Yeah, it's going to feel a lot more easier, like it's easier to accomplish, like, like it's an achievable, it's an achievable thing. Everyone, everything seems much more achievable once you have to achieve something, yeah. or at least start at something. You know, I want to stress to everyone to, to start. So, I mean, you, you've done all this now. I mean, what is your ultimate goal, Jason? Like, like at the end of the day, you know, all things aside, what's your ultimate goal, man? Like, what are you looking to, where are you looking to go? On your growth journey, where are you looking to go? Uh, world domination. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely it. I'm glad I'm sitting next to him for that. <laughs> I'm with right there with you, man. Let's do it. <laughs> that's my next documentation. I love it. <laughs> next video, how to conquer the world. All right, cool. I love it. No, but like, you know, what's the ultimate goal? Like, what, what, it, what are you trying to do? Well, I, I, I mean, the first thing I want to accomplish is to speak in front of 250 people. And that's part of the reason why I joined Toastmasters and why I'm doing these videos in the first place. Sure. I want to speak in front of at least 250 people and, and just, just sort of tell my story. I right. think it's going to be inspiring to some people. And have thousands of people watch my videos. And of course, to have a successful real estate agent career. That's, that's all part of it. And to go on and invest in rental properties. Yeah. Okay. So that's, that's the whole big picture of what, of what do I want to do. Do you have time frames for these goals? Do you have like a point where you want to be like, okay, well, you know, you said a year, that's a year to speak in front of 250 yeah, people. Yeah. Is that right? So, you know, you have that time frame. You know, what's the, you have any other time frame? Do you set time frames for your goals? Like you need, you want to achieve something by a certain time? Yeah, I know that the one-year goal is speaking for 250 people. That's why I say over and over and over yes, again. Yes, so that, that, that'll, that'll help it become true, I'm, I'm sure. And, sure. And speaking for large audiences, you know, I, I think I could do pretty much uh, all of this in, within five years. Okay. And then I'll, I'll go on to the, to the next goal. 
And that, yeah, that's, that's what I would say. Okay. No, I mean, I, I love that, man. I mean, I love that, uh, you know, that goal of yours. I, I think you're gonna, it's going to happen soon, at least yeah. at 250. I think that, you know, stay tuned. I think that's going to happen yeah. in, the, in the near future, man. I just see it just because of the relationships that you're building. And, and you know, I watch your videos and I see, you know, the, the comments and the people that are, you know, tuning in and staying tuned and the feedback that you're getting and the, you know, people are loving it. And, you know, you're definitely making uh, an impact in the marketplace that you're in. And, you know, you're definitely reaching people the way um, that I think you intend, you know, uh, which is powerful. So, I mean, I think you're doing a great job. Yeah, I want to add on to it. Uh, you, Chris, you helped me out in one of those videos. I think some of, some of you saw one of yeah. the videos where, where Chris was helping me with a video. And I was, I was looking really stiff. Uh, <laughs> like tension. <yeah. laughs> and he, Chris like said, a And Chris said, wave your arm. Yeah, so I'm so, fancy with it. <laughs> so I started doing it. I mean, I, I remember before I was doing the videos, so like rocking back and forth. Yeah. And so, but, but moving my arms really helped me to, to do the videos. So, so that, and that, isn't that an evolution there, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's, so think about that. Like, you know, this is someone who started doing videos that just did it, you know, like that really is true. Like, all right, I just stood up and I'm just going to do this. I'm nervous if I'm rocking around, if I'm, you know what I mean? But you still did it. And then also what happens is the, the connections, right? And the connections, the reach out, you know, when you started becoming uncomfortable and started putting those videos out there, the attention that you're getting in a positive light just comes back tenfold. Like, you know, I wouldn't be sitting here right now if Jason didn't do videos. I'll tell you that. I, could, I submit that I probably wouldn't be sitting here doing this right now had you not been where you were and have our paths not crossed that way, man. Yeah. So I'm thankful for that too that's because, exactly right. yeah, that's exactly right. You know, and that's how real things can be. And, you know, if you aren't taking the steps to get to the level or the next level, you're going to be waiting, right? It's, nothing's going to happen, you know? Um, you're going to sit there and be stagnant and still be, you know, assuming that you're going to be successful, assuming that you're going to get rich. Like, and it's great, but I don't know about you. I don't want to assume anything. I just, I would rather know, you know, I'd rather take that control aspect, right? I mean, yeah, exactly. And from what I learned from that is you really enjoy coaching people, don't you, Chris? I actually, you know, I, I thrive in that environment. You know, I really do. I, uh, I love seeing people, you know, seeing people elevate to a level of success. You know, yeah. I love having aha moments with people and engaging in conversation to, yeah. um, to really get an outside the box kind of thought, you know, um, that's something that really uplifts me. I love, you know, guiding people and, um, you know, giving them the tools to, to be successful, whether that's in business or personal. You know, I'll tell a quick story. I've got a friend of mine who um, was a teacher who it really wasn't working out and I've known her for a while. And, you know, the day that um, she, you know, left the job, she, she, she didn't text me and she's like, Chris, you know, I love the conversations that we've had. Um, I would love for, to sit down with you and help decide what I really want to do with my life. Oh, yeah. You know, and that was powerful to me. You know, like, this is a friend, I get it, but like, for her to, you know, not even like it's like some kind of long term friend, but like, you know, for her to come at me and, and say that meant a, real, meant a lot. It meant that, um, you know, I might be doing something a little bit right, you know, at least, at least in this sense. So, you know, my goal is to really, you know, influence people through coaching and, and, and whether that's business or personal, you know, whether that's, just coming up with an idea that's just different than what you were thinking before. I love that. I love being in that environment, man. I love, I love that environment. You see it in my face. I love it, man. I really do. Yeah. It means a lot to me. Yeah. So what, what, what would you say your immediate plans are? Which, what's your immediate future? My immediate like? future, huh? You know, so, I, 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 so I'm on a personal growth journey, right? I think, you know, Jason, that's the whole point of this. And um, I, I hired a, a coach, uh, which is something that, um, you know, Honestly, it was probably one of the best things that I did in my business and also in my personal because what it's just flowing and like it's a business coach just flowing into my personal life in the way that um, I hold myself accountable in the way that um, you know I present myself and I show up to to business to my family to my son and you know it's done a lot for me for structure so you know my immediate goal is to continue to get coached so that I can do so that I can coach through my coach, you know, yeah. so that he can give me the tools so I can empower you or then, you know, anyone else to really show you that, you know, you don't have to do what you're doing right now. That if you really want to be where you want to be, it's possible. It's yeah. not going to be easy. It's not going to be a walk in the park. No, no. But, you know, success is a constant uphill battle, right? Yeah. And it forever will be, you know. It's never going to go down easy. It's never going to flatten out because that you're flat, you're not successful anymore, you know. So it's one of those things. It's a commitment, you know. It's a commitment. So my immediate thing is a commitment to success and what success means is success for me and success for whoever I get to work with, whoever I get to partner with.
Well, that's great. And what, what would you say, what, what are you doing right now on your growth what to, to propel you forward? Yeah, that's a great question. So, you know, a lot of the things I'm doing is it has to do with goal planning. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I'm, I'm setting goals, right? And just a quick thing. You might have goals, but unless they have a, a date to be achieved by, we're yeah. going to call that a dream. Because unless you're going to accomplish something by a given time. You call me out on that one. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a dream. You know what I mean? And, and that's the thing. Like, we have to have an end point. You know, if I want to be a, a millionaire, and I say this, but it's real, I want to do that by 2020. Yeah. You know, the idea of it's crazy, and then, but, but then you put a plan into place. You know, what, a goal, achieve, a, you know, be a millionaire. What do you have to do to do that? And maybe, you know, maybe it's not a millionaire. Maybe it's just to make 80 grand a year. You know, maybe it's 50 grand a year, you know, maybe it's to have a better relationship with whatever that is, you know, um, that's it, man. I mean, that's really what it comes down to is, is that kind of stuff. And then moving forward, you know, and keep going. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chris, what would you say was your, uh, your, your ultimate? My ultimate yeah, goal, yeah. you know, um, gosh, my ultimate goal, uh, my ultimate goal is to inspire others. Okay. Please. You know, my ultimate goal is to, to inspire others because, you know, I know and you know, sitting here right now, there are so many people that could be watching this and that we can talk to that, are, that have been in a place where, or are currently in a place where they want more, deserve more, and should have more. They just haven't met the right person to bring that out of them. They haven't met the right person to guide them. They haven't met the right person to have the right conversation with, right? So, you know, my ultimate goal is to inspire others. My ultimate goal is to raise my son in a way that he knows that growing is constant, in a way that he knows that he can share that with other people too and help to inspire. So, I mean, it all rolls downhill. You know, I, I hired a coach. He's coaching me, which is changing my life, which in turn I can change others and then influence my son to do that with other people through his life. So. That, that's that's the pathway, man, and it, it's it's so crazy to talk about this right now on, yeah. on on video. You know, like that is my ultimate goal, and you know, I want success in my business and stuff. But like, and I think all that'll come from the inspiration, from the from the guidance, from the reaching out, you know, and helping other people. Um, you know, I want to be successful in my business, and I will be because I will, I will help other people, and I know I'll help you. Like that, that's just what'll happen. It'll just happen. Well, it seems like you have really strong reasons in order to. To do, to do well to inspire others. You want to be an example for your son Absolutely. and other people. Yeah. And that, that's strong. That's probably something you think about every single day, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, I wake up in the morning and, and uh, you know, you look in the mirror and you do your routine and you go through your things and I just think about, like, you know, where I am now, what, what could be tomorrow? You know, what could be the next day? You know, what, what is my son, what can I do for my son? What trip can we go on, you know? And how, what kind of experiences can I have in life? Because, you know, I, I mean, buying things is whatever, but it, what kind of experiences can I have in life? You know, like I wake up and I think about those kind of things and, and uh, it inspires me and it makes me feel good. You know, it makes me feel good to, to know that even if, even through a growth journey, I can find happiness even when I have hiccups, even when there's yeah. failures. You know, I still feel good because I know the plan and I'm, and I'm set the plan and I, and I have my plan and the plan is a plan for a reason and it's going to go off course every now and then, but it's, 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 it's pretty cool to have that kind of stuff set up and it really is. Yeah, that's so, great. yeah, man. So let me ask you, man. I mean, what, what do you think the next steps are for, to get this kind of growth going? What is, how do you start? What do, what's your opinion? Like, what are the next steps? How do we start a growth journey? How, how would you tell someone else, like in your opinion, like what would you do? Okay, what I would do is what I should have done a long time ago. <laughs> I had the idea to document progress and what happens. You need some sort of, uh, I'd say, accountability normally. It's hard to do it all on your own. And so I, I made my accountability partner uh, Facebook and Instagram, so, 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 Huge. So, social media. Smart. That, that's sort of what I did in a, in a roundabout way. And that might be what you need to do in order to can just... I, can I interject real yeah, quick? I love what you just said that. Because what did you do? You made it, he made an announcement to everyone that he is on a growth journey. Yeah. And, and who is your accountability partner? The world. In essence, right? I mean, your close friends and counterparts and colleagues are going to be egging you on to see what this looks like, you know? Yeah. So, what, what, what would you say step one is? Tell everybody, this is the journey I'm on. Go ahead, I mean, I'm sorry to interrupt, but that's just what it sounds like to me, you know? Go ahead. No, yeah, that, that's exactly right. Tell everybody the journey. Tell everybody what you're going to do. Yep. And don't just say it once. 
I mean, you could say it every single week, like yeah. me. I, mean, and I, I don't know if anyone could really forget what, what my goals are. I say them every single week. And the nice thing is, I can't forget it. <laughs> I say them every single week. I can't just forget about it. I, I know what I need to do, and, I, and it keeps me accountable every, every, every single day. And wouldn't you say that, you know, when you went ahead and made that, that announcement to Facebook, um, the people that jumped on board to support you, yeah, like, look at the support. That's something, yeah. you know, look at the support. You're, nobody's going to, well, first of all, if somebody gets up there and, and naysays you, they don't belong in your life. But, you know, look at the support that you're getting. You know, you're going to put this on Facebook and people are going to support it. People are going to be real to you. People are going to be like, man, that's awesome. You know, because nobody talks like that. And when you talk like that, you're unique, man, because people will follow that. People love to align with people that are looking to better themselves and better those that are around them, man. So I love that you said that. That is so powerful. But what else, man? What else can we do? On the steps to uh, on to our growth journey, man. What's next, Seth? What else? Yeah, I actually was really surprised at the support that I have gotten. See? Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I was really, I was really impressed with that. It, it's, I really appreciate everyone who has supported me, has has commented on the videos, and and, and has helped me. It keep, it keep, definitely keeps me going. And another thing I'd like to say, just to add on to that, is even though all those comments and likes help me keep me going, I it, it got to the point where I, I really don't need that. Sure. I'm going to do the videos and everything no matter what. And, and so that's the point that you need to do, you need to get at, where you can do things no matter what. You're, you're not really thinking what do other people think about me. Got it. You're just going to do it anyway. When you don't need anyone to get you going, except, for, you know, obviously I said I need the social media to help me get going. Sure. But I don't need that all the time. And so when you don't need that all the time and, and you can just not worry about what other people think, that's when you can really propel forward. Right, you know, we get caught up on, on the he said, she said about, you know, about me. And, and a lot of it, I think, is self, self-created self before it even is created. Mm -hmm. You know, like we get this idea in our head that we're going to do this and people are going to say we're going to X, Y, and Z, and we didn't even do it yet, right? Like, yeah. you know, before you were making these videos, you're like, people are going to be like, oh my God, they're going to suck or whatever, you know? And then... When you start doing it, you're like, oh my God, nobody's really saying that, you know? And then you get to a point where you're like, wow, nobody, everybody loves this, you know, it's so great. And then you get to a point where you're like, well, I thought I needed that, but I know I believe in myself and I can do that, you know? And yeah, I'm thankful for everything I get, but it's a, it's a, it's a flip in your head. It's a switch flip in your head. You're like, man, you know, I, I have value in the things I'm doing. I value myself and I, and I feel confident and I can continue to move on. So I love that too, man. That's a huge piece. That's a good piece. Yeah, and I also, the, the thing that got me started was thinking that I have nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. I try to keep that mentality all the time. Sometimes I lose it and think, well, maybe I do have something to lose. Maybe I shouldn't do that. But I have to keep that mentality. That, that's what allowed me to hit a paper towel on my head in one of the videos wow. and, and yeah. do, do some, do some silly, silly things by just thinking, you know, st staying on offense, keep on going forward and doing more things instead of being defensive and trying to protect what I have. Because as soon as I start trying to protect what I have and, and not crow yep. or keep on or taking risks or take chances, that's probably when I'm going to stagnate and start going backwards. And yeah, and kind of regress. So wouldn't we say that what we're doing right now is trying to manifest our own destiny? Yeah. yeah. We are creating a life by design. And that's so powerful. Because the minute you took control of your life and said, I'm going to do something differently, wonderful things happened. Didn't it? Aren't we here right now being able to do what we're doing together in a place that we never thought we would do this? And because we took the steps to get comfortable being uncomfortable, we are able to create what we want from our future to a degree, to a really high degree. You know, it's not even like we're, we're, we're we are controlling what's going to happen next, you know, and it's only going to get better. You know, it's only going to continue to take that next level up as we progress through our growth journeys and uh, really hammer in on what what that means to us and what life really would be for us. Yeah, and I, I feel like you're sort of a natural at this. You, know? <laughs> you, have, you have a real knack for this, uh, for talking this way and the self-improvement and for coaching. Yeah, and I, yeah, I, I love it. I see man. a bright future for you. I appreciate it, dude. I really do. I love it. I love it. But, you know, I, I got I, so many kudos to you, man, like really, because seeing you come in here and I can remember coming in doing a video right behind where we are right now and, um, you know, 
just watching you, I'm like, man, this is something I, I honestly wish I could do, you know, yeah. like, well, I wish I could do this every week, and I say that, I know I can do you it. You can do it. I can do it, right? But, like, the commitment that you have towards your brand, towards what it means to you, you know, and the, and the commitment that you have towards what your content is and your delivery. Okay, this is a point I want to make. I, I, I was going to forget to do it, but I'm glad you brought okay. it up. Okay, okay. And, and what keeps me propelling forward going week after week after week, I'd say probably the, the biggest thing is remembering the pain from all the things I started and never finished, all the projects, all the things I wanted to do, and just started for a little bit and then I would stop because it got too hard. And I always remember that. That's always on my mind. I'm not going to stop on this one. Yeah, and don't we get into situations where, you know, we won't do something, you know, because we feel the pain, but in that moment, aren't you still feeling the same pain that as if you were to do it? You know, we can have days leading up to something that needs to happen, and we'll feel pain for all those days, and then maybe not do it. But if we would have just executed immediately, we wouldn't have felt all that pain, and we would have felt it like relief. So all these years of pain that you've had because you wanted to do these videos, right? Like, look at this. This is a long time of videos that you wanted to do, and all that pain. Like, I, I, you know, should I do this? Blah 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 blah. And then we get to a position. Or you do it, yeah. and you're like, holy crap, why didn't I do this sooner? Yeah. Because it wasn't that bad, and, and that's, that's the hurdle, right? That's, that's the thing that you need to overcome. That's the bridge that we need to cross in that moment, you know? And it takes social media, whatever it took, so your bottom line was, hold me accountable. Yeah. You know, hold me this. Hold me and, and that's why I say a coach is great, I'm not trying to, because a coach isn't someone that is your friend, it isn't someone that you know, necessarily loves you, or they love you, but they're not a lover, they're not gonna let you down. Right. That's the accountability coach, the accountability aspect of it. I'm going to view our screen real quick to see okay. if we have any questions. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know that we have any questions. Let's see. No, we do not have any questions right now. If you guys have any questions about what we're talking about, we would love to hear from you guys. Um, we're, we're about wrapped up now, so it's a little bit late, but <laughs> hey, you know, uh, we're, we're close. So if you got something you want to comment on, we would love to hear something. If you got a question about what growth means or or you know some of the obstacles that we face, you know, throw it in there. If, if, it, if we're not live, we'll still answer it. We'll reach out to you and answer it and uh, give you our feedback. Um, so what else, man? I mean, what else on your steps? What else on, your, what, on the next steps and how to start? Anything? Uh, the, the accountability of social media or, or reminders of the things I didn't do. And I, I guess just uh, yeah. wanting to reach my goal. And there were other things I was going to say. I don't remember. Why don't, why don't, why don't let, you, let you go? Yeah, you know, so what, what do I feel like the next steps are for someone that's looking to do this is, is a feeling, really. Like a, it starts with a feeling, in my opinion. And, and the feeling is, <sighs> you know, it, is, it might be lost. That's a good feeling. Um, it might be like lost. It's a loss. Um, it could be a feeling of despair. It could be a feeling of not enough. It could be a feeling of wanting more. Um, you know, all those feelings, the feelings of I deserve better because you do, um, you know, and I'm not going to hate on your current environment, but you, everyone deserves better. You know, you got to believe, right? And if you have that kind of feeling inside of you, um, grow on it, you know, f discover it, ask yourself what it means. You know, why, what, what, what do I really want? You know, what do I really deserve? And, you know, if, I, if you could have some takeaways, write down what a goal is for you. You know, if, if that goal for 2019 is to have a new job, well, you know, maybe you set a time for when that happens, you know. And, and then you've got to take action. Um, it's all about the action. Um, it's all about, you know, doing things, getting out there, talking to people, getting uncomfortable. You know, I'm going to tell a story, you know, you got to do, right? One of the biggest things that I've seen or heard in, in conversation is like, you know, I don't want to go to school for five years because it's going to take five or four years to get a degree. Well, ultimately, five years is still going by no matter what. And that's the point I was forgot. So you, okay. Yes. That's right? Definitely. You know, so Definitely. time is constant. And it's really the only constant we have. Yeah. So time is going to go on whether you are or not. Yeah. So if there's something you wanted to do, do it now because if you start tomorrow, you're a, little, a year late. Right. You know, and that's so powerful because as we age, we don't get the time back. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah, like it's right. If you that, that was that was another propelling thing. I thought, well, I'm, I'm not getting any younger. If I'm going to start this, I, I better start it now. Better it's start time, it now. I, I don't have time. To play around you don't have time, right? You know, so if we can reach 
someone right now that might be younger than us, yeah. like in their 20s, like start, start now. now. Like, and, and, and what is the biggest thing that you can take away from this? It's, you know, I was worried about what people would say about me. I was worried about what people would think. Don't worry about, Don't worry about it, right? Because if you look back, man, 20 years ago, are you still even connected to the people that you were 20 years ago? Maybe a couple, but ultimately no. Like, you know, you're gonna have your core group of friends and those are the people that are gonna support you and you'll, and you'll still be able to grow from that, you know? And, and any kind of limiting beliefs that you have, get rid of them. You can accomplish whatever you wanna accomplish, I submit. You can accomplish whatever you wanna accomplish if you have the drive, um, and if you have the tenacity and, um, and, and you believe in yourself, you know, um, and you believe in yourself, you know, so if you want to get started in something like this, you know, reach out to one of us. We'll be happy to put you yeah. on a journey, you know, and be happy to dive into this, like any further than what you might, what we're doing here to help elevate you, you know, because if we all can be on a level of success, if we all can be on a level of, you know, let's do this. It, think about that, you know, the masterminding, the, the, it, just, it would be so wonderful to be a part of that, you know. Again, that's what I, I love to inspire other people, you know, so, and you do too, man. I mean, you love to motivate other people. Yeah. And um, so, you know, next up, talk to us. Like, talk to us because we're living it, you know, and I'm not, I'm not rich by any means. Jason, are you wealthy by like millionaire by any means? I don't think so, you know. So, but we're here yeah. smiling right now, doing something just like you you know we're just like you and it just takes us from point a and once you get on that point a the sky is the limit and it's a wonderful place to be up manifesting your destiny creating a life by design doing the things that we love being able to communicate with people being able to reach out to people like this and maybe this isn't your thing but whatever your thing is you should be doing it you know and you shouldn't be worrying about it so you know what are the next step looks like just do be, get out there and do because if you're not doing you're just going to be wasting and uh and i don't think that's a good position for anybody to be in yeah exactly right i just like to finish with yeah yeah definitely do what's right for you do what you love to do i, I want to do videos so i'm doing videos and, and that was my thing well your thing could be something else and it, and it probably is so to so do that uh, yeah let's talk about that too you know if you get into something and it's not what you like that's okay. <laughs> you know, if you went to school for four years to do X, Y, and Z, and you started to do that and you don't like it, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay because you know what? Life is still here. It's still going to go on and you still can change whatever it is you want to change or do whatever it is you want to do at any point in your life, right? At any point in your life. You know, you're talking about being older. Same here, man. Like, I just, what is it? Just do it because you're wasting time if you're not. Right, and don't do something for the money. That, that's something I, I definitely, my, my dad used to always tell me that I didn't necessarily listen all the time, but, <laughs> but don't, 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 do, don't do something for the money because you have to enjoy the process. Yes. Uh, no, no one's paying Chris and I up here doing, doing, this, doing this video, right. but, but, but we just we love doing it. And maybe eventually we'll, we'll make some money off it, yeah, but, man. but that's not really why we're doing it. We, just, we really enjoy doing it. We want to inspire people. And I, I was really excited to, to do this video. And that's really the only way you can... I mean, you hear people like... I, I watch Gary Vaynerchuk a lot. Love him, yes. Great guy. Shout out to me. Yeah, yeah. He says uh, he, he works uh, tw 12 hours a day. Yeah. Well, you can't work 12 hours a day if you don't enjoy what you're doing. A and, and you're only going to get somewhere in life if you're willing to work the 12 hours a day. Right. So definitely find something that you enjoy doing. And be comfortable and okay with failing. Yeah. Be okay with failing. You're not going to win every time. You know, you're not going to get every, every level of achievement. But know that in that failure, there's so much to be learned. You know, there's nothing bad about it. You know, what did I learn here? What, what, what is the next direction? What has this taught me? You know, in instances that you have now, like what, what can I do next time so that doesn't happen? Or what kind of position can I be in next time so that I know that X, Y, and Z doesn't go or I want something to go my way. So be all right with failing, being all right with being let down, being all, be all right with hitting rock bottom because growth occurs in like the most extreme of circumstances and rock, you know, I had right. nothing to lose, right? Yeah. In, a, in a sense where I was, I was I, almost sane, you know? Like, I had, feel like I had nothing to lose. Let me just do this because I'm yeah. tired of doing what I'm doing. It's not working for me, right? And so many other people have felt that. And I know some of you watching this have felt that too. Like, if it's not working for you, stop doing yeah, it. Yeah. Like, I mean, if it's not doing it, let's come up with a plan to get out of that so that we can get something that works for you, right? I mean... 
because you know Jason's out here doing something that works for him. Yeah. I'm out here doing things that work for me, and I'm I'm thriving. Jason's thriving. We'd love to see you guys there too. So you know this growth journey that we're both on is for life now, right? I mean, yeah. it's for life, and it's gonna evolve. And we're gonna meet more people. Hopefully, some of you. You know, we're gonna have interviews like this. You're gonna have interviews like this with other people where you're on camera, and it, it's just great, man. And you'll be able to speak to audiences, and hopefully, one day you'll have a podcast. And we can watch you, and you can call me up and be like, Chris, you want to do, you want to do a guest thing? But this is official, you know. I'm hopeful to see that one day, you know. And I mean, that would be wonderful to be able to be a part of something like that. So, I mean, that's really what 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 growth growth means to me, and what my growth journey is. Um, do you have anything else to add? Is that are we wrapping it up? Well, I like to say say something to the audience, whoever's watching. Uh, as, as a result of this video, are you going to do anything differently? Or, or what are you going to do differently? Maybe you want to announce to the world what you're now going to do. Help, help, help keep yourself accountable, right. like Chris, both Chris and I have done. And, and let's, let's hear something that, that you're going to do. And if you did it, if you're doing it because you watched the video, I mean, that would really be great. That'd be awesome. Regardless, yeah. yeah. I mean, we'd like to hear what you're going to do now. Yeah, and if you feel like it's too much to put it on social media, yeah. Contact us individually. We would love it. You know, we would love to to hear what your plan is. Um, there are no dumb ones. That's the biggest thing. Because what's yeah. true to your heart is true to you, and yeah. whatever that is, it's good for you. You know, yeah. neither of us would ever sit there and tell anyone they're wrong. Right. You know, we're not going to sit there and tell you you're wrong for thinking something because that's yeah. not it. It's not. It's not what it is. Because your beliefs are not mine. Um, mm -hmm. I want to. We want to support you and what you want to do and inspire you to do the things that you want to do and motivate you and show you that you can do it too just like us mm -hmm. so i mean you know what is that we're, we're wrapping things up now right hey yeah. so yeah so if you guys ever need anything you know jason or myself would love to love to help you with anything that's related to motivation i mean whatever that content is on this video we love to support you in any way that we can um kind of give you the path kind of go over if that's goal setting with you, you know, whatever that is, you know, um, even if it's just to say, hey, you know, I love the video, we would love that too, you know, hey, I love the, the content, you know, we would love feedback in any capacity because yeah. ultimately we need to know what we're doing, right, and uh, we love each and every one of you for it, so, uh, I mean, I, I, I mean, we're, um, what's else, man, we good? Yeah, that's about it. And if you have negative feedback, I mean, the, the, constructive criticism. Yeah, constructive we call that constructive criticism. <laughs> constructive criticism. Please let us know yeah, if you have constructive criticism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that better. Not the negative. <laughs> You're all about love and positivity on this side, but yeah, uh, yeah constructive criticism. We're, we're definitely open to that because you know we know that we're not perfect, no. and neither are you. And I can accept. Um, I can accept comments and you know what I need to change and make it better to present for you. You know, right? I mean, that's ultimately what it is: is to deliver this content. For people like you to watch, so. Well, I, I think this went great, Chris, and I'm really impressed. Yes, yeah, let's see. You, uh, we uh, we we crushed it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we crushed it. I think we did a great job. I think we had a bunch of visitors. For those that came on and said hello to us, we're super thankful for you guys, yeah. and I uh, love you all. Um, I'm Chris. I'm, I'm Jason. Yeah, again, one more time. Um, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Chris, thank you very much for coming man. on the show. We'll, we'll I love it. Show. See, I love it. See, that's what I'm talking about. I, it is the show. I am so thankful to be here, man. This is a lot of fun. I, I appreciate it. Thanks, man. All right. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Bye, guys. See you guys later.